Money transfer and remittances are a key part of the world economy, with global transaction values set to reach over $400 billion by 2025. Today I'm here with Susanna Hampton, senior analyst and author of Juniper Research's new 2021 Digital Money Transfer Report. Susanna, let's kick off with the global pandemic. How has the market fared through this? So with the strong growth of digital-only players in the last few years, um, some of the more traditional players such as Western Union and MoneyGram have really had to invest heavily in their digital offerings. And this has really proved um, a vital and timely development because we've seen that the COVID-driven decline in international remittances was mitigated partially by the increase in digital payments. Many of the players um, in the market have seen overall revenue declines over the period, but all of the major players from the more established ones to the digitally native ones have reported increases in their digital revenues. So digital solutions have really seen the growth over the past few years. What does this mean for vendors going forward? Well, as we illustrate in our report, um, the cross-border remittance market has become increasingly crowded in the last few years from the sheer amount of vendors operating within it. Um, so a number of players have struggled to see growth in their top lines, despite investing in their digital offerings. As a consequence, we're likely to see the increased acquisitions and partnerships activity in the market um, as players look to strengthen their capabilities, differentiate themselves and really remain competitive in the market. Now, last year, rumours were circulated that Western Union was planning to bid for its one of its key competitors, MoneyGram. Well, no such bid was forthcoming and in all likelihood this would have faced considerable antitrust hurdles. However, um, such developments aren't really aren't beyond the realms of possibility because they offer um, a really significant way for these players to achieve the top line growth, um, return to profitability and really um, achieve the broader reach that they're looking for. The report highlights instant payments has been a, a, one of the major disruptors. Um, how can vendors really take advantage of this opportunity? So with shifting customer expectations, elements such as payment speed, transaction transparency are going to become increasingly important. And this is not just for the international remittances market, for the domestic money transfer market too. And the report covers some of this in much more detail. Because of this, players in both the domestic money transfer market and the international remittance market, it's really crucial for them to remain competitive um, in the face of developments such as instant payments. So just to put that into perspective, Juniper Research anticipates that international cross-border instant payment transaction values will grow more than 800% between 2021 and 2025. Now, we anticipate because of the um, a lack of a global unified cross-border payment scheme so far, this will take much longer in the international market than it will in the domestic market. Now, the domestic market is facing um, similar pressures from instant payments um, and again we cover this in much more detail in the report but it really will be key for these vendors operating in the international remittances market and the domestic money transfer market to really look at their business models which are under significant threat from instant payments. Thank you Susanna. Um, as usual um, details of the report can be downloaded from the uh, Juniper Research website uh, subscribers have access as part of their package. Um, if you'd like to get in touch to discuss this, then please do, or speak to our analyst, Susanna herself. Many thanks. Goodbye.